We are going to build a full AI SaaS for UGC videos. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that we're going to do this with only prompts. We are going to create beautiful design and complex workflows with AI features. So at the end of this video, you will know everything you need to know about how to create your own AI SaaS for UGC video generation. Okay, so we are going to create a UGC SaaS app and we are going to do this in Lovable by just a few prompts. And the nice thing about building a SaaS is that you can build this once and sell it to multiple businesses or multiple people. So let me explain how this SaaS app is going to work under the hood. Because we are going to use Firecrawl for this. Our customers can put in their URL of their product, we'll scrape all the images from that page, and then with those images, a user can very simply click on the image they want to create a video for, we'll generate a script, and we'll put everything together into a UGC video. And this is not just a workflow, this is a complete app that people can actually start using. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the build loop prompt library. We have our prompt right here and you can just copy paste it and use this for yourself. And I'll make sure that you know exactly how to copy this app completely. So we have this prompt and it explains everything. And the nice thing is our first version of our app will also look very good. Like the UI will be perfect. And this is all because of Claude. Claude has this blog post. And it is all about improving front end design through skills. So what they did is they basically tested out how to prompt to get the best possible output for the front end. So this was from November 12th and it basically has a lot of examples on how to write good prompts. So what I did is I created this prompt with all the knowledge from this blog post. A few examples are for example here, things like teams, it turns out like this already. So it is just about prompting and giving it the right information and this will make the front end even better. So another example is this one here. So this is an example of a SaaS landing page with a very simple prompt. But then when we use good prompt writing, it turns out like this. So it is an amazing difference. And this is exactly what I will show you right now. If you're thus far enjoying this video and not subscribed yet, I want to ask you please like and subscribe it really helps me to grow my channel and i will promise you i will be putting out a lot of more videos like this so make sure you don't miss out on them so we'll go back to our prompt and i will not get you through this complete prompt you can just look it up for yourself you can learn everything about it we have some things about the typography we have some color and themes backgrounds and depth we have motion and animations we have all these parts that will make sure that we get good design already. We then also provided some API integration code examples so that we can also implement all of our external integrations directly. And this is something that sometimes is not done immediately and then we need a second prompt to make sure the functionality is working. But let me now just have this prompt, throw it into Lovable and show you the result. So we'll copy paste this, we run this, so we paste our prompt right here and it then enabled cloud and we got our first version of the app. And to be honest, for the first prompt, this is already amazing, right? It looks really clean. We have all this lightning here. We have the gradient in the background. We have this as well. Like all the hover animations just look really smooth. And we can now click on start creating free. We have this and as you can see the animations, the gradients, everything is already pretty clean and we just need a few more prompts to really fine tune this exactly how we want. But this already makes a huge difference. So we can now sign up for an account. Right here we have our dashboard already which I really like. We have our credits right here. We have our create new video section right here. We can add a product URL. We have some quick stats. We can view the plans for example. As you can see here, we have different pricing plans. We have some recent projects and I already like this. We have the glassy design already and all of this in one prompt is just amazing. But okay, the next thing that we need to do is we basically need to see what it already created. And we can do this in the prompt because it just tells us what it created, but we can also do this manually. And this is something I really like to do. It gives me some power to exactly know what is happening inside of my Lovable app instead of just blindly trusting everything that I asked for. So we can click on cloud and this is basically the most important thing that you need to master when you are building your lovable apps. Because right here we have everything that we need and if we understand where to look and how to work with this data, you can literally create any app that you like. 
So we have our overview right here. We have our database, we have no tables yet. We have our users and we have our edge functions. And our edge functions are currently not there yet. The edge functions basically show all the complex functionality that our app has. And currently we have none. So all the AI functionality is not there yet. Also, when we go to AI, we still need to enable our AI. So a lot of core functionality is not implemented yet. So this is actually a very normal process. You start with a very big prompt and some of the things work perfectly. For example, the design, wow. But some other things, not there yet. So that's what we need to do right now. So in our first prompt, we already had all the information about the API integrations. As you can see here, we have Firecrawl, we have some built-in AI functionality that Lovable already knows how to work with, but we have also VO 3.1, which we still need to specify on how to implement that. So what we now want to do is we want to copy this again with the database schema. We'll copy it and we'll paste it and we'll say, please implement those as well. And we run it. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up our integrations because we are using two different integrations. One is Firecrawl and one is Fell AI. And I will explain both of them, but currently we need to get our API keys. So first up is Firecrawl. We have Firecrawl right here. It is at firecrawl.dev. I will link it down in the description. We can click here on dashboard. We can then click on API keys. We can create a new one and say UGC. Let's copy this one. Let's paste it. And we need Firecrawl to make sure that when someone puts in the URL of the product page, we can actually get the images from their website. So that is where we use Firecrawl for. The next thing is Fell AI, and this is all for all the video and image generation. So what we need right here is we need to go to API keys. We can create a new one create and we copy this one. We can then go back and paste it and run it. And Fell AI is basically one app that has all the different models in one place. So we can use VO 3.1, Cling Video, Nano Banana. We can use everything right from here. So it only takes one integration for all the different models. And the best thing is when some new model drops, we can very simply switch it around and use that new model. So let's go back to Lovable. It is currently working on the edge functions and then we can actually start testing out our AI functionality. Okay, perfect. So it created all the edge functions. It enabled AI. We can now click on cloud. We can go to edge functions and right here we have everything. So we have scrape product, we have generate video, we generate a script, we generate an avatar and we check the video status. So this is all looking really good. We can now just start testing it out. Okay, so let's get this Charizard item. We can copy this, we can go to our app and it will scrape all the images on this website. So let's click and now nothing seemed to be happening. So we can go to cloud, we can go to edge functions and right here, we should have triggered this function. So we can view logs, and probably nothing happened. Okay, so this can happen. This is just part of building your Lovable app. You ask for something and it might not work immediately. The thing that we now need to do is very iteratively fix our product until we hit our end result. So how we do that is we can just explain what we saw, what we did, and what we think should happen. So we had a URL, we want to start with the product scraping, but nothing happened. Also the scrape product function was not called and we see no logs in there. It also said that this integration was coming soon. So I think we are not really actually activating the function when we submit the product URL. Can you please fix this? And then we just run this and then test it out again. And then from there, we'll just see what the next thing is that we need to fix. Perfect, so it fixed it. We can click on start generating. And right now something is happening. So we can now, okay, so we got failed to scrape product. So what we do is we just screenshot this error message. We then paste it in here and say the following. When starting to generate, we wanted to scrape the page. And besides this, we have cloud right here. And as you can see here, firecrawl response received. So it seemed to be okay. Let's just copy paste this in here as well. And it is all about providing it as much data as possible. So we run this and then we can just start testing it out again. Okay, perfect. So it was something in the database and we can just click it again and try it out again. 
Perfect, so it was successfully scraped and we have 34 images. And as you can see here, a lot of different images that we don't want. So I think we should now fine tune what kind of images we actually get. So what we'll do is we'll use the voice button right here. Hey, so currently we got 34 images and a lot of them are also not really product images, but also basic Amazon images. So can we please filter it down to only the product images and also show all the images because currently we only show six while we have 34 images. And I think we should be able to select one or many images that we want to use for our UGC video. So please implement all of this. Okay, perfect. We can now test it out one more time. We have the URL right here. We can click on start generating. Perfect. So we have all the images right here and this is already looking way better. So I think we should now just test out the next step and we can now select a few like these. Um, I think this one. Perfect, we do also this one. And we can now either click on generate avatar or generate script, but both of them are not working yet. So from a UX perspective, I think the next thing that we want to do is with all of those images, we want to make sure that we get an image of a person actually holding the product. So what we can now do is we can now ask Lovable to implement this. So we'll just say the following. Hey, so currently we get all the images that we want. This is already looking better. The next thing that we want to do is basically, once we have selected a few images, we want to create a few avatars. So for example, four, that will basically hold our product. So we can do this with Nano Banana, and this should be the start of a UGC ad. And from there, once we have this person, we can select which one we like, we click on that, and then we can generate a script for that person based on everything that we scraped from the product page. And once we have the script, we can then together with the script and the image, create the video of the UGC ad. So please implement it like this. Currently the generate avatar and generate script buttons are not working and we also don't want to have two options. It should really be one flow. Okay, so it is loaded. We can now just start testing it out again. So we click on start generating. We get all the images right here. So let's select this one and this one. We click on generate four avatars with product. Okay, so it created an avatar and right here we see everything except our Charizard. The images look fine by the way, but we should see our actual product back in there. And that is currently not happening. And this is actually something very normal. You try to create something and it just turns out it didn't really work how you wanted it. But we have Lovable, so we can just ask Lovable to fix this. So we say the following. Hey, so we try to generate an avatar with a specific product, in this case, a Charizard. But the generated UGC creators all had just like a bottle in their hand and not a Charizard. Please make sure we really use the images that we select as an input for the creator creation. So right here, we see nothing really special and let's run it and then let's see if we can test it out again and if it is then working with our actual Charizard. Very quickly, if you're not subscribed yet and you're enjoying this video, learning anything from it, please like and subscribe. It's the only thing I'm asking in return for those videos. So without further ado, let's dive back into the last part of this video. Perfect, so the problem was that when we were generating the creators, we did not give the image as input. So our image generation didn't even know what kind of product we were talking about. Okay, so let's run the whole process once again. Okay, perfect, so we got our images and this is looking way better. This is really cool. It is currently already writing our UGC script, but this is really good. This is of really high quality. I am, to be honest, really impressed by the result. I think we can fine tune here and there, but wow. Okay, so the next step, we now actually have the images. I want to see the full images right now. And right now, I think those images are pretty static. They're not really the setting of a UGC video. So I think we should just prompt this out once again. Let's ask Lovable to fix this. Okay, perfect. The quality is really high. It is really starting to look like something. One thing 
when we select a generated UGC creator, it directly selects it and starts writing a script for it. We want to change a few things about this. So currently we want to see the full size of the images. It should really be this vertical image that is really solid for short videos. And what we want to do is we want to see all the images in full size and then click on generate script. And then for that person, we should really create a good script. Also, one thing, the images are not really in the scene of UGC creators. They are very set up, like in a house, for example. It is really clear that this is not something where someone just started filming themselves in the car, for example, or when walking. So we should really think about what kind of scene we want to create for our creators. Then like when we click on generate script for this creator, it generates the script. And then we want to give that to the actual final UGC video generation. So please adjust those things. Okay, perfect. So it was done. Let's now test it out again. Ah, right here. It already made sure that the formatting of the images is way better. To be honest, I really see this working. I'm really enthusiastic about this. It is of so high quality. So let's now test out the whole flow once again to see if it is actually working. So we can do this for another product. So let's go here. Let's actually do a Pikachu right here. So we copy this one, we go back, we run this. We can select a few images like this. We can then generate the avatar. Okay, so the avatars are created and right here it looks like this. So this is really cool. I think this one is pretty good. We select it, we then generate the script for the selected creator. Now we have this one. Wow. So what we now do is we now generate the final UGC video, which is going to be really cool to see how it all comes together and we get these actual videos. So let's click it. Okay, so we got this error. So we have this one. We can copy this. We can go back and we say when generating the video, we got this. But what we now can also do is when something is happening in our front end and we can just not really see what is exactly happening, we can also go to file AI because we can now click here. We can go to our VO 3.1. We can click on try it now. And right here, you have the requests page. We can click it. And as you can see here, it is still loading. So everything is going exactly how we want it. And it is now up to us to just wait, see if it pops up in our lovable front end and then we have our actual product okay perfect so right here we got our video and this is looking so good okay let's check it out let's click isn't he awesome this is the mega pokemon pikachu and seriously building him was so much fun Bro, wow look what i just built isn't wow he awesome this is this the mega this is really good this is really high quality also the details are pretty good i see some text could be better but come on this is this is amazing okay Let's go to Loveball and right here we see nothing yet. So we can go to our cloud. We can go to our edge functions and we have our generate video right here. We can view the logs and it has started. So we can copy this one. We can go back. We can go to check video status because this is where it went wrong. Right here we have our error message. Okay, perfect. So we paste this as well and say, please fix. We run this. So it has loaded. We can now test it out again. So we have this. We can select all the images that we want. So this one, this one. We can click on generate avatars. We have this one. Cool. I think I like this one. So we can click on generate script. And everything seems to be going fine. The video generation has started. We can now go back to file AI. Okay, so we got our video okay, right here. Stop scrolling. Seriously, I just found the coolest thing nice. ever for all you Lego lovers out there. Okay, stop scrolling. Nice, this is looking really good. We can now check if our Loveball app correctly fetched it because then our whole process is finished. Perfect, so as you can see right now, we currently have all our previous projects right here. We can now click on view video. Okay, We have our video scrolling. right here. Seriously. Perfect, and we can now click on download and we have everything. This is our whole process in place. The best thing is this is all just online. I could now directly launch this, put this on a custom domain name, and then we actually have our SaaS. We only need to add a few things like Stripe integrations. We can fine tune the whole user experience. But for now that we have this only in a few prompts, 
it is really insane the quality is super high i already like the design and we currently have something super valuable thanks for watching my complete video if you've learned anything from it please like and subscribe i hope you're now very busy building your own ai SaaS for ugc videos if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i try to respond to all of them and i will see you in the next one